Um, anyways, so if I was going to have the angle of elevation from the ground to the top of the building, 100 meters away, is 78 degrees. So find the height of the building. So again, first thing, guys, is we have an angle of elevation. That means we have a horizontal, right? Angle of elevation to the top of a building, which is 100 meters away. So we measure distance horizontally. We don't usually, unless it's saying like a direct distance, um, you know, to the top of the building, which it doesn't. Usually when we say something's 100 meters away, we're going to do horizontal distance. This distance is 78 degrees. And then you have a top of the building. Now I can rewrite this as a right angle. And then we're trying to find what? H. So we're going to say, oh, I'm creating a variable. So I'm going to say H equals the height of the building. All right, so now I have a triangle. I have two measurements. Can I create a trigonometric function? Yeah. yeah. I can say the tangent of 78 degrees equals h over 100. Right? And then you could say h equals, oh, I'm sorry, that's meters, times the tangent of 78 degrees. So again, just make sure when you're typing that into your calculator that you have your calculator set in um, degree mode. And do 100 times the tangent of 78. And I am getting a height of 470. I don't think I said how to round, so we'll do 0.463. And does it matter if it's in feet or meters? Yeah, it does matter, right? So we've got to make sure we use our units.